refreshing drink. It's called tepache. Tepache is a fermented pineapple. This fermented pineapple has so much benefits and everything is natural. I am sure you're going to love it and you're going to refresh yourself, especially in this hot weather. It's a process, but let me tell you, once you make it at home, you're going to love tepache. So let's get started. These are the few ingredients we need. Two star anise four cloves, two sticks of cinnamon, three piloncillos, and the skin of one pineapple. Yes, the skin of one pineapple. Let me show you how easy it is to make this fermented pineapple tepache. It's a very traditional and delicious refreshing drink. Of course, Two cinnamon sticks is very important. Two anise and four cloves. This is what's going to give it such an amazing flavor. This tepache has so many properties. Anti-inflammatory and is antibacterial. And it has so many probiotics. The best thing is that you could make it at home and enjoy it with your beautiful family. And like I said, this is a very refreshing drink. In Mexico, you drink it a lot and you see it everywhere. Like I said, you use the skin of one pineapple and distilled water. Well, here, let's start with the process. Here, the skin of the pineapple is nice and clean. I am going to add the two cinnamon sticks, the two cloves. I'm going to add the four cloves and now the piloncillo and the skin of the pineapple. Let me tell you, this takes me to when I was a small little girl. My mom used to make this drink all the time and it's really delicious. It has a kick of flavor. But once you make it, you're really going to love it. Plus, it has so probiotics, anti-inflammatory, so many properties that you're really going to love it. I know that it's a process. Yes, it's a process. You need to add everything in here and then add some water. Water until you cover everything all the way to the top. You're going to put saran wrap or a cotton towel right on the top and then put it in a cabinet in a dark place. Leave it there for four to five days. And look at this. Look at the water. Once you add the water, you start seeing those bubbles rushing up to the top. Look at this. You're really going to love this tepache. And the properties, just amazing. I am sure that once you make it, you're really going to enjoy it with your beautiful family. When I say it's a process, you cover it, you leave it behind in a cabinet. I'm going to add saran wrap right on the top. But I really want you to observe all those little bubbles rushing up. This is going to ferment for a couple days. Don't leave it more than five days because then it's going to be like alcohol. So what I'm going to do is just cover it. Let it far ferment, ferment for about four to five days. And then you will see the difference. You will see the color that is totally different. The aroma and flavor. Oh my gosh. Just amazing. And now I'll see you in five days. 
after five days, look at the color. Look at this. I am going to open it. It's nice and fermented. The aroma is so delicious. And now, of course, I am ready to remove all the pineapple. I'm going to remove all the pineapple, the cinnamon sticks, the anise, the cloves. And then I'm ready to enjoy it with lots and lots of ice. This tepache is perfect for this hot weather. I'm going to remove everything. Of course, you could add two more cups of water. And now I am going to strain it. Making sure that I get the cloves out and the little pieces of the cinnamon. Now I am ready with my pitcher. I'm going to add a lot of ice. I'm going to add the delicious and amazing fermented tepache. I hope you make it, my friend. You're going to love it. color looks amazing. I can't wait to enjoy it. And of course, I have my glass ready with lots and lots of ice. Remember, so much properties in this glass. If you liked this video, leave me a thumbs up. Share this video on social media with your friends, with your relatives. And subscribe. I'll see you in just a little bit. with this amazing fermented tepache, pineapple tepache. Look at this. So many benefits in this amazing and refreshing drink that I know you guys are really going to love. When you leave it for four days, fermenting, covered in a dark place, and when you're ready to enjoy, let me tell you, these flavors are so, so delicious, and the benefits of the fermented pineapple just amazing with this hot weather just refresh yourself with an amazing homemade tepache with so many benefits remember this is a fermented drink that i know that you guys are going to love and i know that it has so many benefits for our bodies but let me stop talking and let me enjoy this amazing fermented tepache excuse me Mmm, so delicious. The fermented pi pineapple really infused the liquid. The piloncillo, oh my gosh, just amazing. I wish you guys were here to taste it with me. So refreshing and so delicious. And a plus with all those benefits. If you liked and love this amazing recipe, I invite you to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, share this video on social media with your friends, with your relatives, so Cooking with Gloria continues growing. Don't forget to push that notification bell, and if you did, leave it activated so every time I make an amazing recipe, like I did this amazing and refreshing fermented tepache, you're gonna be notified. Peace and love.
I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of Cooking with Gloria. I will stay enjoying and refreshing myself with this amazing fermented drink, Tepachi, made at home with lots of love. Like, subscribe, and share. See you soon. Bye-bye.